everybody, welcome to our strengthening section. Today we are going to focus on upper body. So upper body is no one's favorite because it can be really tough. So today we can modify on a wall, we can modify with a chair or using lighter weights. If you don't have weights, no problem. Grab some soup cans, you can fill some water bottles with some pebbles or some sand or something to make them a little heavier. But um, if you do have weights, grab your weights, grab a chair, and come back and join us. So today we're going to be doing a couple exercises. We're going to be doing them 15 times, and we're going to be doing them a couple times through. We're going to start out, we're going to jump right in there. We're going to start out with push-ups. So we're going to do 15 push-ups. I will show you how to modify. Now I'm going to do them on a chair. You can choose to do them on a wall, on a chair, on the floor, on your knees or on the floor in a full push-up. So I'm gonna show you a couple on the chair, then I'm gonna to move to the floor and show you a couple on the floor. So when we're gonna go ahead and get started. So hands on the chair. Our elbows are not going out to the side. They're not going straight by our body. They're going just a little ways away from our body. So we're gonna do one, two, if you need a little assist, you can step one foot forward and give yourself just a little assist here. So keep those push-ups going. We're coming to, I'm coming to the floor and onto my knees. Give me five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job. Grab a set of dumbbells. We're going to be doing bicep curls. So we're going to start with bringing our hands away from our body and thumbs up. So we're going to do wide and then narrow, palms towards the ceiling. Wide, thumbs towards the ceiling. Narrow, arms come in, palms towards the ceiling. Making a big W. This is number three. If you've done one or two more, that's okay. We'll call that a bonus. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, try not to do a lot of movement of your upper body. Try to keep your core nice and engaged so the movement is only coming out of the arms. I lost count, so we're gonna do three more. One, two, and three. So what I wanna see is I want you to be sore by the end of 10 to 15. So I want it to be difficult for you to do. So if your weights are super light and you're not um, fatiguing at the end, maybe purchase a heavier set of weights or maybe fill your water bottles with something a little heavier. So we're going to now do front raises. I'm gonna do one at a time, but you can choose to do two arms at the same time if you choose. So one. Keep your palms down and we're only raising shoulder height. If you are a female, sometimes we can be really weak in our shoulders, but having strong shoulders is a really important part of day-to-day of -day activities, getting yourself out of a chair, lifting and grabbing things. Nice and controlled, no swinging of the arms. Great job, everybody. We're going to do five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job. Palms facing each other, tummy tight. 
We're going to lean forward. See, I have just a little forward lean here. And we're going to bring the elbows and squeeze the elbows together and release them down. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me here. So my arms are coming back. I'm squeezing my elbows together and releasing. What I don't want to see is this. We're not coming up here. Our elbows are staying to our side. We're squeezing our elbows together and releasing. We're halfway there. If you're someone who likes to calculate and you like numbers and counting, I'm going to be off every time. So just do the best that you can. You're going to give me five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Keep your elbows back. So if you drop them down, keep them back. Now watch me. We're going to kick back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really push those arms back. We have five more. Two, three, four, and five. Set those weights down for me. Find a wall. I'm going to squeeze right here. Tummy's going to be nice and tight. Don't press your low back into the, to the wall. Just give yourself a nice neutral spine. And we're going to do thumbs to ceiling. Open and down. Open and down. We're almost there. Then we're going to go through and do these one more time. Ten more. Big And 
five. Beautiful job. Couple big shoulder rolls. Let your arms just kind of hang out to the side. I'm going to go one at a time. If you want to go two at a time, go for it. So you got one, two, three. If you're here for osteoporosis, studies show you really have to lift a heavy weight. So if you're lifting heavy weights, body mechanics is going to be really important for you. So with the body mechanics, keep those shoulders low. You don't want them hiking up underneath of your ears. And remember, pain is never okay. So if you have pain, you need to stop. You can lighten the load. If you have a cranky shoulder, lighten the load on that side. And we are not going any higher than shoulder height. Give me three more. Two. And three. Beautiful job. Right into it. Let those arms hang, tummy tight. Bend forward and squeeze the elbows together. I will stand sideways so you can see. We are not lifting our shoulders up here. We're lifting our elbows back and trying to squeeze your elbows together. We have 10 more. You should have no low back pain. Five more, we're so close to being done. Well, at least done this section. Hold it back there, hold, 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 and we kick back for one, two, if this one is a little difficult, lighten the load. Set your dumbbells down. You can do one at a time. Make sure you're not getting any strain in your shoulder or in your neck. Give me one more good one. Great job. Waist down. Shake out those shoulders. Against the wall. Tummy tight. Pulling in that low back. You don't have to press it flat against the wall, but keep it, keep it nice and uh, neutral. So, thumbs up. Big Y. Keep those arms straight. See if you can press those shoulders back into the wall. If you can, tuck that chin. Do not force this motion. When you start really forcing your neck to the wall, especially if you have a pretty big gap, you can place a pillow behind your head for support. Just do some gentle chin tucks here. And maybe going overhead is not okay for you and you just work on getting those shoulders back against the wall. Lots of posture stuff here today. Trying to keep you moving upright. Strengthen that back. Give me two more. One. And two. Awesome job, everybody. We'll see you soon.